time next Sunday, we'll know the result of the so-called boxing match between former world champion Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. In The Observer today, there's a two-page feature on the fight with the headline, Will Mayweather v McGregor save the American fight game or bury it? Uh, Mayweather, of course, unbeaten in 49 fights, but he's been retired for almost two years. Uh, Conor McGregor is a UFC fighter. He's never boxed before. Well, I've been talking to former heavyweight champion Lennox Lewis. How much interest is there in the fight in America? Let me tell you, there's tremendous build-up, tremendous hype behind this fight, but I, I don't really take it as a serious fight. I mean, you have to look at all these boxers that have tried to beat Mayweather, now a non-boxer is trying to beat Mayweather. You know, it's, to me, I think it's a, a great event. You know, everybody wants to know what's going to happen. Is McGregor going to throw a kick? Because obviously, when he resorts to boxing and realizes he's no match for Mayweather, what will he do? How can he get around that? No other boxers for 49 fights has uh, figured out how to beat Mayweather. Now a UFC fighter that don't even have a boxing career is trying to beat him at boxing. I think it's a, it's a farce to a certain degree. Uh, you say a, a farce. It's nothing more than a gimmick? I say a gimmick, but obviously they'll be throwing real shots, hopefully, in, in the fight. I don't think it's a fight that I'm going to actually jump on a plane and go see unless they're really paying me to commentate on it. But, uh, you know, everybody's excited to see what's going to happen in the fight. It should be an exciting fight. I'm, I'm sure Mayweather can do what he wants in there. He can make it last as long as he wants. So hopefully he'll make it exciting for the public. Lennox, you made an interesting point there about McGregor never having boxed. He comes from a totally different discipline, and you said that he, he might kick out. If he gets frustrated, uh, do you think there is a chance that he could bend the rules because he'll perhaps lose his temper? Yeah, there's always that possibility. You know, you got to realise that Mayweather's a boxer that uh, frustrates his opponent. And this is not a boxer. This is a guy that actually, you know, he, he's got uh, a lot of different, different disciplines that he can resort to. But when it comes to boxing, you can only resort to one discipline. You can only use your hands. So I believe that he'll be uh, frustrated because he won't be able to hit Mayweather. And... Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, do something that um, everybody's expecting him to do because a lot of people say, oh, they want Mayweather get hit. If Mayweather wins, um, and he's likely to, obviously, he would be unbeaten in 50 fights, beating the great Rocky Marciano's record. Would he really have overtaken Marciano in a fight that you've suggested is a bit of a gimmick? I wouldn't count a fight like this as a fight. He's basically boxing a guy that's a UFC fighter, he's not a boxer. So he should really be uh, voted and counted if it was a boxer he was boxing. Now it's somebody like a UFC fighter, I don't think that should count. So if he wins it, he doesn't overtake Marciano in your view? Not in my view, because I believe you have to fight a, a, a legitimate fighter. Uh, and who do you think will win? I, is that a, a, an obvious answer? Well, nothing's ever obvious when it comes to gimmicks and hype. You never know what to expect and never know what will happen. But, yeah, Mayweather should win it. I don't see why he should not. If it was a UFC fight now, I would have to say McGregor. Lennox Lewis, but always a pleasure a, to it's chat. It's not a UFC fight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bless. Lennox Lewis, speaking from uh, America, I have a friend in the media who's been covering boxing for 35 years. I won't name him. Uh, but he, he sent me a text and said, um, farce and sham. Well, the, the fight is on because of uh, dollars, pounds, shillings and pence. I mean, there will be a big pay-per-view uh, audience for this. I agree with with your uh, secret texter's sentiments that is a bit of a stunt. It is a farce and a sham, but there will be a lot of people wanting to, to, to watch it. And it, there's an interesting dynamic here in the way that UFC has, has obviously impinged on, uh, on boxing's television market particularly in the in the u.s so uh you know th there's a lot at stake here for but there'll be a lot of traditionalists backing well, mayweather well as i mentioned a good story uh, in the observer steve parish would you buy that um fight next week will you yeah, i think i'd watch it i think it's interesting i mean i've been to mayweather fight in vegas where i've watched him live against hatton and he's very you know he's almost impossible to hit he's that's his forte i just there's just this outside nagging thing that 
can McGregor in this kind of street fighting way just do something just different, you know, and catch him? And Mayweather's well, getting on a bit, and he's it's all based on he's just slippery and elusive, and the, and the punches kind of half hit him. So it'd be interesting a little bit. I, th- I think that's the key thing. Will he be able to land a punch? But you make the, the, the correct assumption, of course. We will always remember Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas, uh, that fight in Tokyo, and, and Lennox Lewis himself and, and Oliver McCall. Anyway, we'll be reflecting on that story in next week's programme.